Hello everyone. We have seen the different type, uh, different types of roofs. The first we have seen flat roofing system. The second one is pitched roofs. So this building will, this image uh, will give you an idea about what is a pitched roof, and we'll see the different elements in the pitched roof. So eaves the one which uh, drains the water dormer hip ridge rec uh, rex soffit and cables the cables the vertical member in the pitch roof is called cables so in case of uh, construction of pitch roof by timber or wood so purl in which sh which sup uh, supports the slope uh, pitched roof hip rafter wall plate angle tie jack rafters ceiling joist cable ladder frame common rafts valley rafter this is the ridge so we have uh, seen the different elements in the pitched roofs pitched roof is also uh, called a slope roof in general terms the roof with the sloping surface is known as pitched roof the basic elements are lean to roof cable roof, hip roof, gambrel roof, manshed or curb roof, deck roof. So these are the different types of pitched roofs based on its purpose and shapes. The first one is cable roof, cross cable roof, mansion roof, hip roof, pyramid hip roof, cross hip roof, salt box roof, gambrel roof, flat roof, bonnet roof, shed roof. So lean to roof. Lean to roof is the simplest of uh, simpler type of uh, pitched roof. There will be a small open rooms for a veranda wherein this type of lean to roof is provided and it will have a slope only on one side. So this is a diagram and this is a example for a lean to roof cable roof this is the second most common type of uh, pitched roof and it will have slopes in two directions and slope will meet at the ridge at the top the vertical triangle is formed at the end of the surface which is supported by means of cables so these two pictures or figures will give you an idea how the cable roof will be and the basic uh, uh, cable roof designs are cable roof the normal the second one is hip roof so hip roof in cable roof we have a uh, slope in two directions and in a uh, hip roof in hip roof uh, four sloping surfaces in four directions and slope triangles are formed at the end faces so you can see a slope triangle can be formed at the end faces and in four different directions one direction one two three and four so this is an example for hip roof cambrel roof similar to gable roof slope in two different direction but there is a break in each slope instead of a regular slope there will be a break in each slope a vertical face is formed at each end so this is an example for gambrel roof mansion roof similar to hip roof slopes in four different direction but each slope has a break the sloping ends are obtained you can see there is a top flat surface the on the on the top side and on the uh, on the four different directions will have a four different slope this is an example for mansion roof deck roof next to mansion roof deck roof will be discussed now similar to hip roof slopes in all the four directions will be provided a deck or a plane surface is formed at the top so this is an example for a deck roof so these uh, are the different types of pitched roof a lean to roof couple roof couple close roof collar beam roof or collar tie roof the second one is double or purlin roofs the third one is triple membered or framed or trust roof this triple membered or Framed or truss roof can uh, further be classified into king post roof trust, queen post roof trust, combination of king post and queen post trust, mansion roof trust, truncated roof trust, 
Belfast Roof Trust or Lattice Roof Trust, Composite Roof Trust, Steel Sloping Roof Trusts. So single roof. Single roof will consist only for uh, one common rafter at the ridge and the wall plate. Small spans where no intermediate support is required for the rafters. So single roof will be adopted for the situation like this. Double roof. Double roof are provided with the help of purlins to support the common rafters at the intermediate point. And when the span exceeds 5 meter, this double roof is provided. The functions of purlins are to tie the rafter together, to act as an intermediate support to the rafters. Triple membered or trust roof. It will have three sets of members the common rafters, purlin, and trusses. Purlin gives an intermediate support we already know from the previous double roof. A truss roof is provided when the span of the room is greater than 5 meters. When the span of the roof is greater than 5 meters, this triple member or truss roof are provided. When the length of the room is large, where there are no internal walls or partition walls to support the purlins. Single roof lean to roof are the simplest type and is suitable for uh, the span up to 2.5 meters. Raptor slope on one side can be used for up to a degree of 30 degree. It is also known as pent roof or isle roof. And wall on one side is higher than the other side. Wooden wall plates supported by cobble provided at 1 meter center to center. Common rafters are nailed to wooden wall plates at their upper end and nailed to the wooden post plate at their lower end. So this is applicable for sheds, outhouses attached to maintain building. So these are the different elements used in lean to roof, the battens which supports the roofing, the roof covering, the gutter for the drainage of water and the wall plate, this is called cobble which is connected from the wall and that supports the roof board. This is called rafters, this is called knee strap, and this is called wall plate or post plate, and this is called wall or pyre. So this will give you the cross section of a lean to roof. Couple roof. These are formed by the pair of rafters which slope to both sides of the ridge of the roof. Upper ends of the rafter are nailed to a common ridge and lower ends nailed to the wooden wall plates. This couple roof is applicable for a span up to 3.6 meters. So this picture will give you a clear idea about the different elements in the couple roof. So ridge cover, roofing cover, which is common in lean to roof, gutter, heat board, ridge, column rafters, wall plates and wall. So this is the plan. Common rafters and the wall plate, heat boards. Couple closer roof. Couple close roof. This are provided to prevent the rafters from spreading and thrusting out of the wall near the ends. This is also connected by means of horizontal member called tie beam. It may be of wooden member or steel wall. The connection between the wooden tie and the feet of rafters is obtained by dough, hay, dough, tail, half joint. So this is called dough, dough, tail, half joint. And this is provided uh, for the span up to 4.2 meters. So this is an example of close couple roof, in which the rafter is connected by means of ridge piece, and it is connected by means of a tie beam. And that tie beam, along with the rafter, will be supported on the wall and connected by means of wall plate. And this is with out king rod, and this is with king rod. This is without king rod, this is with king rod. Collar beam. When the span increases or when the load is more, the rafter of the couple close roof have the tendency to bend. To avoid this, tie beam can be raised and it is fixed at one third to one half of the vertical height from the wall plate to the ridge. It is suitable for the span up to 5 meter and this picture will give you an idea about collar beam roof. So here it is raised and it is connected by means of a collar beam. So 
A caller and switcher rule. This is similar to caller rule, except that two caller beings crossing each other will have an appearance of switches provided. So this is the caller beam rule, and here switcher shape is provided in caller and switcher rule. So this is in addition to caller beam, caller rule, the switcher shape is provided. Double purling, double or purling rule. These rules have two basic elements: raptors and purling. We have already discussed uh, the uses and the, fu the functions of purling. And the, these raptors are provided uh, at 40 to 40 centimeter center to center face uh, spacing, and each raptor is supported at three points: ridge, purling, and wall plate. For larger roof, two or more purlings may be provided to support each raptor. So this picture will give you an idea about the rafter and the purling room. So as we know, this collar beam is connected. Uh, the rafter and the collar beam is connected by means of purling. It is supported on the wall plate. Truss roof. When the span exceeds more than five meter, when there are no inside walls, when there are no walls to support these two, truss roofs are. Constructed. Uh, the spacing is limited uh, constructed by means of uh, spacing. Spacing is limited to three meter for wooden presses, and in this system, the roof consists of three elements: rafter, purlins, and presses. The types of trusses are king post, queen post, combination of king and queen post, mansard truss, truncated, bell fast, steel trusses, composite trusses. King post. The important elements in the king post are. Lower tie beam to incline principal rafter face struts and king post. So this is an example of traditional king post. So this vertical member is called the king post, and this is the the member which connects the king post and the raft is called the struts. And the common rafter is connected by means of Purling and purling cleats. This is the wall, the supporting wall, and this is the tie beam. So the king post prevents the tie beam from sagging. So in order to prevent the sagging, sagging of uh, the tie beam, the king post is connected by means and struts. The struts connected connects the tie beam and the principal rafters, which is inclined in two directions. Let us uh, see the connections made in the king post. So turn on and mortise. Next to the king post, let us see the queen post trusses. Queen post or the vertical post are different from a king post truss having two vertical posts rather than one. Let us see the figure that explains queen post roof truss. So instead of one king post and uh, strut that is connecting the rafter, here we'll have a vertical and horizontal member. That the vertical member is called queen post, and the horizontal member is called straining beam. And this uh, uh, queen post is connected is connected by means of strut that supports the rafters, common rafters. And this queen post tie uh, connects the tie beam. So this is suitable for uh, span from 8 to 12 meter. Here the straining sill is introduced on the tie beam to counteract the thrust found in the inclined member, which is in compression. The third one, the third major classification in uh, truss roofs are combination of king and the queen post. As you can see, this figure will give you the combination uh, of king and the queen post. The top most truss member is connected by means of the king post with the help of strut, truss, strut, and the queen post with the help of uh, struts and straining uh, uh, sill is connected by means of the tie beam. 
this is adopted for the span up to 18 meters mansion before seeing the different elements in the mansion let us see the f uh, figure for the mansion so this is the mansion truss in which uh, the elements are described in this figure so it was designed by Francois Mansion and to honor his, uh, his design this roof, roof truss member is called or named in the name of Mansion it is a two story truss with the upper portion consisting of king post and the lower portion of king post the upper pitch the upper king post varies from 30 to 40 degree degrees and the queen truss varies from 60 to 70 degrees the use of this truss results in economy space since only one room is provided between the two queen post truncated this is similar to uh, the mansion but instead of uh, sloping will have a truncated shape this will also have the combination of queen post and the tie beam so this type of truss is used when it is required to provide a room with a uh, room in the roof between the two queen posters so if you uh, if a room is to be provided between the two queen posters queen post truncated trusses are used then belfast roof truss or bowstring it is also called as bowstring truss this is a common type of uh, bow string trusses that are adopted in bridge construction so this uh, roof uh, can be this roof uh, truss roof can be used for the span up to 30 meters composite composite roof truss consists of two materials uh, steel and the timber in composite truss member tension members are made up of steel and compression members are made up of timber or wood the tension members are made up of timber their section becomes very heavy because of the reduction of the size section at the joints so this is an example for a composite roof truss in which the tie rod and this is a st uh, strut lead purlin trophy steel roof trusses when the span exceeds more than 10 feet the timber trusses become heavy and economical and even the cost is high so in such places steel trusses are constructed which is economical for longer span these are uh, fabricated from a rolled steel structural members such as channel sandals etc trusses are designed in such a way that members are either in, in compression or in tension bending stresses is not allowed to develop them most of the roof trusses are angled because they can resist both tension and compression effectively so steel trusses are further classified into open trusses knot light trusses bowstring trusses end raised trusses so this is an example for open trusses bowstring trusses looking uh, so this figure will give you a clear picture about king post truss raised cord truss scissor truss king post truss raised cord truss and simple fink truss and along with the span if the span is more than 9 to 12 meters house trusses are constructed and fanning is also con uh, constructed if the span is more than 9 to 12 meters so further classification of fink trusses are compound fink compound how compound how truss with raised cord these are the f uh, these are considered for the span of 12 to 15 meters compound fan fink trusses campbell fink or french truss so other type of different types of steel roof structures for 9 to 12 meter spans are North light truss, north light or sawtooth truss, modified north light truss, bowstring truss. The advantages of using steel trusses over uh, the timber roof trusses are it is readily readily available and a required dimension 
or um, results in the minimum wastage of material it is lightweight stronger and more durable and more rigid it has a uh, longer life and it is termite proof termite and fire proof compared to the timber trusses it can be used for any span thank you for watching this video about different types of pitched roof roofs in the construction